Hello animators! In this tutorial, I show how to draw the mouth for use in the switch layer animation. Let's get started! First, I select Draw Shape from the Draw Toolbar, then choose Oval. I've unchecked the Auto Stroke, since I don't want a line around the shape. Select a color palette for the fill. I'm using the face palette since it's easier. This will be the inside of the mouth where the tongue will sit, so I'm choosing the dark reddish brown. Now using the same shape, I'll select a pink for the tongue and draw the tongue. Tweak it a little bit, move it around. Then for the teeth, I'm going to do two more ovals. This time I want an outline, so I've checked the auto stroke option. Top teeth, bottom teeth. Tweaking the shape a bit by clicking on individual points and dragging them. Now I'm going to want the top teeth to overlap the bottom. They could just switch places, but there's another way. I'm going to go to the Fill toolbar and select Shape. Then I'm going to click on the shape that I want to lower one level. On the Draw menu, click on Lower Shape. There we go. Now it's time to draw some lips. I'm going to select the pink again, but I'm going to tweak it by clicking on the swatch, the fill swatch. Now I'm going to pick a shape. It's going to be an oval. Everything is an oval. It makes it much easier. Draw two ovals, one for the top lip and one for the bottom. It's going to need a couple of more points to be shaped like an upper lip. So click on Add Point in the Draw Toolbar and then click on the line where you want the points. We're going to also join these two shapes together. We're going to do that by clicking on the outer corner, drag it down to the other point, and click on the space bar while you're holding the left mouse button down, and it will join the points together. So now we have one shape. Now this is a personal preference. I like to have the outer part of the lips not overlapped. So to do that, I change the points to a pointy shape instead of a curve. I select Curvature option in the Draw toolbar, and then I click on the point that I want changed. Then I'm going to click on Peak at the top menu bar. It makes a nice little points on the outer corners of the lip. Now I'm going to tweak the lips a little bit, adding a couple more points. It doesn't have to be really perfect. You can always adjust it more later. Sort of getting a basic shape. When I'm done tweaking this, I'm going to click on the lips to select all points and drag it on down. Tweak it some more. It's not going to look like much yet, but we're going to sort of fix it, patch it up, now you can shape those teeth a little bit better, the, out, the ones sticking out on the sides, you can drag them in, but you don't have to, it's sort of, I don't know, for me, it doesn't matter, it makes it easier just to leave them sticking out, maybe shorten them a little bit. We're going to cover them up. Moving those teeth up and down a little bit. I'm going to make sort of a patch to cover up those things that are sticking out of the sides there. I'm going to do another oval shape and click on 
the flesh tone from the palette, choosing the oval shape, and then cover up the entire thing. Now the interesting part, choose select shape from the fill toolbar and then click on the fleshy oval. Then in the same toolbar, the fill toolbar, click the X to delete the shape and then click on the oval and it disappears. Now the magic part. Click create shape from the fill toolbar. Now hold the shift button. And while holding it down, click on the lips. We want to see the lips. Click on the points on the inner part of the lips because we want to see the teeth too. See that? Magic. Now go to the top underneath the menu bar. Click on create shape. Pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, now we don't want to see the black outline because this is sort of a patch, so let's hide it. Select hide edge from the fill toolbar and click on the lines to be hidden. And you can adjust the shape as necessary. Make it smaller if you want to. You're not having as much of an overlap. Now I almost forgot. I like to adjust the line width of the lips. So I'm choosing the line width option from the fill toolbar. And I click on a point and while holding the left mouse button down, slide the mouse to the left and the right to adjust the line width. I'm using a touchpad, but it's a similar idea. And voila, we're done. Make sure everything's moving around like it should. Okay, now click on Control plus R, the rendering, and there it is. It's not too bad. Okay, stay tuned for part two, creating the switch layer. And thanks for watching.